Welcome back to Valhalla. My name is Fuds, and it's now safe to keep watching. God damn, it's chilly outside. I'm back, eh? What would a kid like you know about that, eh? I'm just giving you a fact as they are. What happened while I was gone? Oh, let's see. Detective guy comes in, cat boomer girl greets him. Let's start talking. Everything was okay until a girl mentioned they back through Corp offhand. After that, the guy got wild up and started badmouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. Just carried on like it was just a normal conversation. I see. Well, I won't deny that Ibatsu Corp is everything but innocent. When you get down to it, has it enhanced the quality of life here? Yes, if you're by enhanced, if you get, if by enhanced you mean getting yanked around by shiny new chains around our necks. Can't you see the big companies don't care about us? Why do you think Little City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? We're just the ones to test a big group of them to use however they want. But then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was. Let alone a rich kid. True, I don't know. And true, I have a, a privilege that clouds my judgement. But can you deny that a meddling of a Zaibatsu Corp has brought quite a few benefits? Like what? The AI integration programme we started making huge advances in the AI department. Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognising AIs as citizens. Yes, but you also hold the AI, AI reinforcement information programme. Meaning that we're also a world's linen in prison. AI went rogue, transfer it delivery to a drone ship to Glitch City. And murder is now delivering your pizza. Fair point, although that problem has proven to reform many IRs. They don't brag about their 88% success rate for nothing. Hmm. The city also has a stronger economy. Zaibatsu Corp's success has made more and more companies bring their products here. And the gap between classes continues to grow. More companies just mean more people will plant their feet in your face. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. Stores have more than 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Uh, Say Batsu Court's main medical research branch has also made lots of discoveries. More and more illnesses previously thought incurable are being addressed every day. It's amazing, I hope you can afford them. Meanwhile, down here we're exper experiencing medicine shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Oh, but there are also more jobs or companies coming down here need personnel. So the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. More jobs? Shut up. Am I wrong? Well, uh, that's... Hey you, don't just sit there. Give me a Zen Star. Sure. Let's make a Zen Star. Have I actually made a Zen Star before? No. Just absolutely crap. Yeah. Good. This is awful. It's your order, though. I seriously hope you didn't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. Why else would I say it? You bring up something I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over time are limited to a few. I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end, there's still a luxury belonging to any of you. And even those that can be accessed by everyone are more like an improvement in the bigger picture. That doesn't take away from the fact there has been a positive changes. Credit where credit's due, don't you think? That's a pretty mature answer. Discussions are for two parties to understand each other. The only people afraid of discussions are the one whose points are too fragile to fend against someone. Yeah, mature, whatever. I'm going to take a chance to ask you about the job I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find out much, but I can at least tell you that she wasn't ever buying when it opened up. What does that mean? Maybe yeah, she left before the whole ordeal started. Or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. All the corpses accounted for, only found one totally disfigured. The witnesses had identified it. It wasn't your friend, amateurs for sure. I see. Did you call him here? No, he just happened to come here today. The weird part is a girl did enter a bank. It's like she vanished or something. I see. Thanks. Keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. 
Hope is the last thing you lose, I guess. If it's telling the truth, Say might have found a way out. She's a resourceful girl. She surely did something. I think I'll just have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Um, just give me whatever you order. Two bad touches, please. <laughs> On it. Uh, she wants a bad touch, eh? Uh, make him before we laugh too hard. Bad touch is a terrible name for drink, but and I always like to make him big for her. She needs a big drink. And rocks and mixed. And another. I remember this one party I went to, when Garrett came up with the name of his drink showed up. After people from that found that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. They didn't seem offended to me though. Imagine a guy shows up and tells you I made a classy bad touch. Wouldn't you like to slap him? Um, are you okay, Jill? Um, <laughs> now that I'm thinking, did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Vondelay? Turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl? Someone paid me to look for a crimson rose and she happened to be at the... Uh... What? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. Oh, don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about is say with people. Why is that? Her attitude is usually so laid back and gentle she has no problem getting people on her side. And on the off chance that she has to defend herself, well, I once saw her take care of a warbot gone haywire, haywire by herself. Why don't I think that say might actually be this assassin? She did need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to get take care of a bot. Is she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, but she's also really good with a crab mag maga and. Something wrong? No, nothing. I just realised I forgot all about that. Say it's not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resourceful and she's surely found her way out. Uh, I just hope she'll well. Wherever the hell she is. She owes me an ice cream. You want another drink, Von Delay? It's on me. Are you sure? Yes. What do away. Okay then. I'll take a piano man. Any Miss Stella? I'm fine. Get his order. One piano man. Two aldehyde. Three Bronsons. Five Delta. Five Rows. And three of these. One on the box and mix. Yeah. So, this is what drinking something so classy without worrying about what price feels like. Alright, I should get going. My contact will arrive to the veterinary point soon. I'll let you know if I find out anything else, Miss Hoshi. Please do. Alright then. You've been generous today. He made my night with his discoveries on Say's situation. I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. Well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. Thanks again. Please come again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? Why would I? It's not like yours to sleep. Thanks. This place is soothing. I'll just go sit over there near the arcades. Alright, that'll be over and Dana. Quite a mess of situation with Robert. Ryan, have a meeting you now with the MI6 Saucy. Right, right. Oh, it is Miss Hoshi herself. Ah, Brian. Fancy meeting you here. I didn't expect to see you here of all places. Are you busy? Mind catching up with it? Sure, no problem. Jill will be sitting over here. 
Let me know if you need anything. We'll do. Hmm. Oh, it's not a phone. It's an old model, so hanging up is a bit laggy. You can we cast, by the way? I'm Jill. Say, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. Actually, not early one. I wouldn't say if more interesting if we... Finally, I'm gone. Whew. Been quite a day. At least the streets are calm today. <sighs> I have arrived yet again in a majestic hall of heroes. Calm until now. We meet again, bartender. You look wounded, Vergalo. It's pronounced Vahiria. Now, I'm pretty sure it's Vigilia. You said as much the last time you came in. Pronunciations are a silly thing. Society imposes on letters. They want to be free, want to be pronounced however they want. You look winded, Vahilio. We all little toys winded by the cool hands of fate. Just stumbling until it decides not to wind us up anymore. And yet, you need your the only one in the vicinity of hyperventilating. That's um, I was jogging. Dressed like that. I can jog however I want. Yes, you can. What can I get ya? Something fake? Of course. So, she, so we want something fake. Leaning towards a Bantine, eh? Okay. Okay, running for a list here. Let's the Zen Star. I'm going to go with the Brantini. Let's have six Aldehyde. Three Powder Delta. And one Carmatrine. Make sure there's no bottled drinks here. Nope. I want it aged and mixed. Here you go. Now, tell me why this is a fake. Because I didn't even try. The expectation of me giving a damn about the abstract orders are fake. Bravo, brilliant. Say, Vahelio, where do you work? I take the noble duties of a curator of a steampunk museum. Really? What do you do? I study everything that comes and keep it clean for people who visit the premises. But lately, my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah, he told me, stop touching the exhibits! You're gonna break them! The nerve of some people! Eh? He still fails to reach an ambiguate of air. That'd be, all these machines will be rustier than we already are. Even the visitors get rid of one with one to a rose. Why can't I only rely realize that? Yeah. But he treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly! Okay then, time for your next challenge, bartender. Dance with me, monkey, dance. Challenge, he says. I want purity. Can I give him pure alcohol, maybe? Possibly Fringe Reaver. Okay. I 
Yeah, I'm gonna go with a fringe weaver. Yep, so one aldehyde and nine carmatrines. All aged and mixed. How is this pure? It's a drink. It's free from any non-human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Ah, yes. Beautiful. Ah. Hmm? Hey, you. A guy over there. Me? Yes, you. Have we met before? Can't remember. Maybe? Yes, I think. No, 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 no. We haven't met ever. At all. That's an interesting reaction. Ah, oh, Jill. I'll be taking my leave now. Be careful out there. Uh, thanks. Huh? Excuse me. Have we met somewhere before? At face. But I. What about my eye punk? We haven't met ever at all. Never, ever, ever, ever. Good talking to you, bartender. Um. Did you just scare off a client? Apparently. Well, I'm off. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. And also thanks for scaring off that dickwad. I mean, he's annoying as hell. How are we done for a day? Yep, quite a few clients considering the whole situation. Oh, shit. Ben Vahelia guy. So you actually, actually have met before? Yeah, you could say that. What? What? Gear stuff. Don't mind it. What were you talking about, Brian? To Brian? Well... We're mostly catching up, to be honest. I haven't seen him in a while. I offered him a drink when we met last week. I talked a bit about, to do, about what to do after a bar closes. Oh, well, I tried to explain the situation with Robert here. He agreed to help me out with that one when the time comes. Ah. Oh. I was also turning up with details for a new employee. New employee? Part timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. Oh. Him? Just a guy? An adorable guy for say to myself. I suddenly have deja vu. Hey, right, Jill. Yeah. Must be nothing. Funky music plays because I've got some results. Oh, I got floor service buttons as well, so he liked it. Okay, Jill bought what she wanted. She's already pleased with herself, so I've already bought what I wanted. Brilliant! Yay! Yay me. Me. And boss. Best boss. Well, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. My name has been Fuds. Bye-bye. <laughs>